This video is going to cover the Tektronix new uh, MTS 4EA version 7, which does codec analysis for HEVC H.265. So if you're involved with codec optimization or making sure that it's compliant, this is a video you want to check out. So right now I'm opening up a file, and this file we're going to see uh, alerts pop up. So I'll skip through a bunch of these, but the errors tell you that if there's any aspects of your encoding algorithm that you're doing, they're not following the spec. If there's any problems there, it'd be um, fatal or minor problems. So now we're into the video, and I'll step through some of the uh, functionality of it. Kind of in the deep end, you can actually get a hex view of it, but uh, some people are not interested in that. But we can also get to a hex editor, so we want to go in and start flipping bits. You can also do that. As far as looking for the efficiency, I'm going to play the file, and you're going to see how the I and B frames, as far as how much, how many bits per frame they're consuming, to see how efficient your algorithm is. Now, drilling a little bit deeper, we're going to get into the uh, coding units. What we're going to see here is uh, I'm going to play the file and open up the coding units, and you click on a specific part of the picture. And you can see the attributes, if I stop the file, it shows you the attributes for that coding unit itself. Because what you're looking for in H.265 is to put the processing power, the rocket science, only at the parts of the picture that have the most complex frequency content and the most complex motion. So by clicking around different parts of the picture, you can see a simple part of the picture here. There's simple blocks. Up here, they're very simple. But where the action is, they're very complex. So what you're looking for is to see, once again, you're putting the processing power where it's actually needed. So I'm going to play the file. So once again, you see where the complex motion is. That's where the processing power is. We're looking at coding unit types. And we see a code here for intra, which means it's compressed within a picture. Inter means there's a time-based element to it. So we can drill a little bit deeper. We'll go to... Uh, partition types, and this shows me a key for the different partition types. So when you're doing your encoding algorithm development, you can see if you're using the proper approach for the various aspects of the picture. Now here, under this one, we're looking at LUMA, because there's coding units, and coding units branch down to coding blocks. So we have here our for color for, uh, for the LUMA scale. We hit the play button, and you can see the calculations being based on LUMA, because the human eye is the most sensitive to shades of gray being LUMA, so you can see what coding types are being used, 4 by 4 up to 32 by 32. The smaller the block area, that's where the most high frequency content would be residing. We can also do the same for, um, for LUMA, and you can do the same algorithm for that. As far as slice, information, we hit the magic play button, and you can see at a slice level how things are being processed, because there's definitely a tiered approach, a branching approach to how the processing power is being implemented. What you can also do, summary screen, the same video we've been looking at before, it's showing me image size, 720 by 576, the image format is YUV, and that is 4208 bit. That means you're doing horizontal and vertical color averaging. Your kilobits for the stream, seconds, that's what the seconds we're running in this file. Frame type, it's B for bi-directional, frame number, number of slices, frame bits, header bits, and coding unit bits. You're looking for efficiency, the lower the number, the better off you are. You're, uh, coding tree units. These are 64 by 64. This is the largest block area that you can have, and things get smaller down to the 2 by 2 pixels. And what you're looking for here, inter and intra, you're looking for efficiency. Inter is compression that is taking in a time element, a temporal compression. Intra is spatial within the picture itself. Your mean quantizer, you're trying to get the most aggressive quantizing, but still have the highest quality, which means big steps or baby steps between shades of gray and color. The video standard, HEVC, that's what we're looking at here. 
It's unknown profile, main tier, unknown level. So it's not defined in the That's a high level overview of the new Tektronix HEVC analyzer. So it's a tool that's used for checking for interoperability, see if you're following the standards, also for tweaking your algorithm for the highest quality at the lowest bit rate. To learn more, to get a price quote or a demo, please contact Tektronix.